Hey, hello, hier ist äh, Kai Tannemann aka Motens and you're watching Mot Style TV. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry, uh, I was uh, very busy the, the last weeks and uh, there was no time left to. Um, yeah, I made some uh, more tutorials and something. But, so now we have this uh, Easter uh, vacation and uh, yeah. I try to, to uh, go a step further and yes, uh, the, the uh, topic today is uh, the texturing of the bag. You know, uh, I, I like uh, that uh, this bag looks like a uh, stone and have some stonish uh, uh, optic and uh, this is my original 3D scene, yeah, uh, where the, the mostly finished back is uh, visible, and uh, this is uh, what I uh, end up with. It's uh, the, uh, the look I, I very liked because uh, what I like is um, that uh, the, the back didn't look like, uh, like a very round and, and flat stone. I uh, like to become this. Uh, yeah, we're very rough and 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 uh, broken stone uh, look, and uh, yeah, it's 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 uh, uh, a funny thing because uh, I get this look. Uh, uh, how I get this look is it's more or less a, a try and error accident. <laughs> so uh, because you see, this is a bug, and uh, for example, uh, this left wing. Uh, it's a material, it's called uh, neck, whatever. <laughs> and this uh, material consists of uh, just a uh, texture, granite, uh, a bit reflection, of course, uh, a bump map, but it's just a noise to, to make the. Yeah, to, to make it a bit uh, uh, rough on, on the surface. Rough, you know what I mean. And uh, a tiny bit uh, specular and important this displacement map. You see, this is the the big secret behind uh, everything. It's a, a very detailed uh, displacement map with uh, high subdivision uh, polygon displacement. And the big question is where this uh, displacement map is coming from. Moment, I show you the, the map in uh, high -res. That's all. That's the secret of the bug. <laughs> so, and uh, it's interesting because uh, it's like I said, uh, just uh, a resolution, uh, a result of some, some testing stuff. Yeah, and this is my original testing scene, stone test. Uh, and the scene looks like this. So, there's a sky with a, a reflection map, and this is my original uh, test object. Yeah, it's just a, a crumpled sphere. Okay, moment. Physical low coordination is needed, um, and here we need this granite texture. Reflection, no, no, it's not used. And this displacement map. So, okay, interesting. Okay, so um, anyway, this is my original scene. Uh, it's it's uh, just a crumpled sphere with some uh, sculpting stuff on it. So, and uh, to show you how it works, I do the same again. And yeah, I have to excuse because uh, uh, when I made this bug, it's it's now uh, one and a half year ago. <laughs> and yeah, I forget uh, something I did. Uh, and have to show in my own uh, scenes uh, what I did in the past. <laughs> so, this is a sphere. We are changing them to a polygon sphere. It's all, and uh, I think what I did is giving this sphere a little uh, displacement deformer and some noise. 
just to, to scramble the sphere a bit uh, so it, it looks uh, like a very rough stone or something like this you need you see okay so and then you can uh, freeze this situation when you uh, select the sphere and go to mesh conversion uh, current state to object so now is a, a deformed sphere uh, freezed in, in his uh, condition. Okay, and the next step is switching to sculpting. Okay, and give. Okay, maybe, maybe I have to select the object before, and give uh, this uh, object some subdividing. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, five, maybe six. Okay, you see, it's it's very very high subdivided. So I switch to this view, and now, what I did now is it's very very simple. I just uh, put this uh, pull brush and uh, just get a one of these presets. Yeah, when when you oops, sorry, <laughs> when you go here and hit load preset there are some uh, ready uh, to use presets it's, it's very funny yeah? you, you can paint uh, this zipper or something and uh, yeah what, what I used was uh, some stonish like stuff so I moment <laughs> rhino, rhino skin <laughs> No, I don't need that. So, uh, I need... Here, there are some uh, brushes ready-made for, for stonish stuff. I choose, for example, this and just paint, you see, on the surface or stone, stone. Maybe there is some more interesting, like this wall thing. Let's see. Yeah, it's interesting too. Okay, so, and this is uh, more or less what, what I did. I just paint the structures on, on uh, this uh, basically raw object. Okay. So, and you see, perfect stone. No, not really, but uh, it's more stonish than uh, the original sphere, yeah? Okay, 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 it's enough, maybe. So, oh, there are some. Sides, I have to paint all of them. So, okay, yeah, maybe here a bit more. So, this is what I get now. So, and now, uh, yeah, we have this uh, very high uh, subdivided object, and um, what can we do to to get uh, from this uh, information? Uh, probably a displacement map. It's very easy. You just uh, select the object, of course, and there is a button: Bake Sculpt Object. So I hit this button, and uh, now I have to choose a location where the resulting file is uh, saved. I call this uh, this place map. Oops, this place map. This <laughs> too stupid. Anyway, so and now I have to choose uh, a resolution of, of the resulting displacement map. And of course, in, in this case, it's it's very. Uh, good to, to uh, choose a very high resolution because uh, 
as higher uh, the displacement map is, uh, as more details are in. Yeah, and and so I, I choose uh, eight thousand uh, pixel wide and high, uh, over eight thousand, and now I have to choose what I like to bake. And I like to bake the displacement, or maybe the normals. And here it's interesting too, you can choose uh, from the highest level, 6, to, to the uh, basic version, yeah, level 0. And anyway, anything between 2. But in my case, I, I like to uh, have this look on the low polygon uh, starting object. So I choose this and uh, fast preview. There's a preview, okay, it works. And now I hit bake. So, and this needs a moment, you see, there uh, you can make this on a bigger window too. You see now, uh, Cinema is, is baking the, the textures, uh, the, yeah, the, this, stonish structure into a displacement map and into a normal map. So, this needs a bit of time. Okay. Voila! This is... Maybe you can see it's, it's very similar to what I show you uh, <laughs> from my uh, Stone test, yeah, okay, it's still baking something, we have to wait. So, and, and this is all, <laughs> uh, not, uh, this is uh, what I did, and ending up with this uh, very high res uh, displacement map. Okay, come on, okay, that's it. So, as higher as uh, the, the map is, uh, as more time is needed. So, and uh, Cinema uh, making a second object, and this is just a copy, is our uh, low polygon original object with a ready baked map. And uh, Cinema is so kind and placed the uh, textures in, in the right channels, yeah? The color channel is nothing. And the normal channel is a baked normal map. And this one is the interesting one for us. Here is the very high resolution uh, displacement map. And uh, yeah, and uh, the subdivision uh, is uh, set to 6 right now. So we can see what happens. Yeah, I, I make a little scene, give a ground. And uh, a sky object just to, to uh, check this. So, rendering. And voila! What you see is our uh, low polygon object uh, has the same structure uh, as the sculpted very high uh, polygon count object, uh, just with uh, displacement mapping and, and sub. Right. Uh, sub polygon displacement. Uh, this just means that uh, into the material, Cinema subdivided every of the bigger polygons into uh, tiny ones. Yeah, and so we have this uh, very thin uh, structures on our object too. And it's very great uh, to work with because uh, the, the high-risk object it's uh, of course uh, fills uh, much of your working uh, RAM and uh, yeah it's, it's heavy for, for your uh, real-time preview in the editor. It's, it's, uh, when you have more objects like this it's, it's very uh, uh, performance hungry and uh, yeah, you you can navigate fast and something, and, and now we're just working with the original low poly, polygon object and, and can uh, 
for example, uh, made a bunch of them. Five, five, five. So I just uh, cloned it and made the whole screen uh, full. You can see, so it's not problem to navigate and, and everything is cool. And with this original ob object, when I change this, you see, he needs more time. Okay, moment. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's my own fault. Now, cinema, I have to uh, thinking about all the high risk objects and <laughs> the cloners. Sorry. Um, hmm. Can I break it? No. Okay, it needs time. What shall I do? Um, I, I hit. Uh, this button as long as uh, cinema need and we see you in, in a minute. Bye bye. No oh, sorry, I, I killed the whole cinema <laughs> because I, I don't like to, to wait uh, for, for this and uh, so uh, we have to recreate the material a bit. Um, so I take a normal material and for the displacement channel I choose our uh, baked texture. Yeah. This one, displacement, sec. So, very high risk. Uh, sub uh, sub polygon uh, displacement, and this is for RGB X, uh, X uh, Y Z object. Because, uh, yeah, the color information in this map uh, are not just in classical uh, displacement maps where uh, more or less uh, brighter colors means high and uh, darker colors means low. In, in this case, uh, these are very clever uh, displacement maps Yeah, uh, because of the color scheme they can uh, move uh, the surface of an object not just in the high, they can uh, go in, in the space and, and so you uh, come to uh, very original uh, structures from your original sculpted object. So we tried um, our... Uh, yeah, maybe uh, the, the bug I, I modeled the, the last time, you know? This is the one uh, I modeled it uh, to, to show you how I model it. <laughs> and maybe it's a good uh, test uh, candidate. Yeah, maybe. So. We pick, come on, guy. So we made uh, our material. So in the color channel, I said we uh, used just uh, this granite texture and a bit of reflection. Of course, uh, you have to choose Fresnel as always, and uh, maybe physical Fresnel and something that uh, reminds you. On uh, stone, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe asphalt. Why not? And a bit less specular, okay, reflection, not so high reflection. And now again, displacement and our map, okay, and again, RGB. Object, supporting displacement, and some higher value. And now I just give this to one of the wings. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Strange. Okay. Um, Maybe another object, the neck. Let's see how it looks there. <laughs> oh god. Oh, uh, okay, maybe I forgot uh, to give them uh, a noise map for 
to have a, a more rough surface like this. Oh, it's very dark. Sorry, I have to choose a better light situation like this. Okay, yeah, you see it. It's not so easy. Ne? Uh, not working uh, like a charm in, uh, like in the last version. It's, it's just uh, looks like uh, some kind of raw stuff. Ugly. So maybe it's it's time to to try some um, sizes, some different sizes. I double the size of the mapping to get uh, more detail. And, and yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, it's uh, it's better now. Yeah. So and what what I did is uh, I just put this material on the object and uh, put it over the object's uh, original UV mapping, yeah? But the UV mapping, uh, you're remembering I, I modeled everything out of a cube and uh, because uh, when I extrude and, and uh, cut holes in the object and something, of course the original uh, UV mapping of the object is uh, distorted. So uh, it's, it's just a, a accident when my a displacement map from a other object with a complete different uh, UV mapping works on this thing, yeah? But this is what I did. And I just tried uh, some different uh, sizes and something, maybe a bit bigger too, and tried around till I think, oh yeah, it looks nice. It's, it's, uh, this is uh, the stonish uh, feeling I like to have. You see? And it's okay. <laughs> so, and this is the whole thing I did, yeah? Just this <laughs> easy made uh, texture, a bit um, try and error about the, the uh, placing, uh, you know? And uh, at the end, it looks more or less like stone. And this is all what I need. And uh, maybe I choose different light. And you see, that's all, really. Uh, for example, you have the possibility to, to uh, choose a, a better uh, original uh, color uh, stone map. I just have this uh, granite thing and, and light is okay. Uh, maybe you can do something with the built-in material filter to make it uh, a bit, uh, yeah, a bit brighter or something. Moment. So, so that uh, the. The thing has not so much uh, internal contrast and something. And I think we can choose uh, less reflection on, on uh, the object. I'm not sure uh, what I use on my original bug moment. Bug, bug, CNX, moment. Ooh. <laughs> Can you see this? No, you can't. Now you can. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, my, my original material is ending up with some kind of this. Yeah, You see it's, it's a granite thing, but just mix it uh, at 50% to uh, some gray. Reflection is a bit reflection, Fresno. Oh, I choose Jade. Interesting. Bump map, yeah, it's a noise map with uh, some FBM noise, uh, a bit specular, and this uh, displacement map. And uh, maybe I copy paste my original material to this new paste. Yes, sir. 
and give it to the body and we see what happens yeah <laughs> Yeah, you see, it's, it's a bit trial and error, yeah? In, in this case, uh, the, the, the structures are too, too tiny and, and didn't look very great. So, uh, we have to manipulate them. So, and uh, the high is maybe not big enough. And, uh, yeah, we can maybe choose my own new make it displacement map okay come on Zack. <laughs> so and you see it's more or less a, a bit try and error thing uh, to the, the maps ha having some uh, effect I like and in this case it's it's not very great um, so I'm use better. But yeah, it's very dirty stuff. It's <laughs> nothing here is uh, painted on the original bug. It's just painted on a, a sphere, a distorted sphere object, and then take uh, this uh, original uh, displacement map and put it just on the back. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, yeah, try and error but, uh, till it looks uh, okay. And uh, this is what I did. Not more. Sorry, it's it's no no big science stuff. It's it's just uh, testing and uh, arranging and finding something that I like. And yeah, but then it's okay. Yeah, when it uh, looks like stone for me, then it is stone. <laughs> and in, in the final thing, I hope uh, you like the optic because uh, what I. Uh, try to achieve is, is not just uh, this uh, yeah natural stone uh, of course I always uh, are I'm always interested in uh, a bit uh, yeah artificial look too yeah it's not just stone uh, in, in the best case and, and this is what I uh, achieve at the end in, in my opinion. I found something that is stonish and a little bit like uh, this uh, low polygon optic I love too. And uh, yeah, and, and uh, I very like uh, some this, this shapes I, I had on, have on the at the end. And um, yeah. But this is the, the, the way I choose, uh, and uh, this is often and, and something I did. I, I just try something out, and, and in some cases it didn't work, and in some cases it works, and then it's a solution for me. And this is uh, what I like to show you. Uh, it's uh, the, the handling you can uh, have with 3D software, yeah? It's, it's a... It's a, a big playground, yeah. There are so much tools uh, with uh, you can achieve different things, and uh, in a combination of something, uh, sometimes uh, something uh, unexpected happens, but uh, it works, and so it's uh, a good solution for things, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's it's. Uh, Maybe uh, one way, it's a way I choose, yeah, uh, to, to experiment and, and uh, just try things out. And yeah, that's the way <laughs> I get this uh, stone look uh, for the bug. And I very liked it and uh, it's interesting because uh, it's not original painted on the bug or something, but because of this, I have so uh, strange structures on the back, and this is exactly what I like. So, okay, this time uh, a bit shorter because there is nothing uh, very uh, professional uh, crafting thing to show, um, but maybe it's interesting for you. And the next thing, it's, it's maybe a, a bit uh, more interesting because uh, I like to show you how this. Uh, 
inflating uh, and deflating antenna works. Yeah, and this is very easy too, and, and it's just a clever combination of, of MoGraph graph stuff and uh, easy to do too. And I hope uh, I have uh, uh, time, <laughs> so you you didn't have to to wait uh, as long as for this thing and. Thank you for watching. Um, this was Most I TV. I'm out and fast and seatbelts for the next thing. And uh, don't be shy. Uh, ask questions here uh, in, on YouTube or on my blog or something. Uh, if I forget something, do it and uh, give me some uh, thumbs up on on YouTube. You you know it's it's good for the world. Peace. <laughs> this was Motenzen. Bye bye.